Are bonds the right hedge anymore for your portfolio? Do you have to look to gold instead? Yeah, you know, let me let me talk about the bond side, and then I'll, I'll, I'll try to get back to the gold question as well. You know, the other thing uh, investors have to talk uh, have to recognize when when listening to to Chair Powell here. You know, he got the question about you know is the is the depression the right historical analogy? And he answered no, and I, I completely agree. It's not the depression that is the right historical analogy. It's World War II. Just go forward a decade. And what it is is COVID is like a war, and or fighting COVID is like fighting a war. And so the Fed is using wartime finance. And the structure of the fixed income markets is a reflection of the structure of monetary policy. And monetary <clears throat> policy structure is now completely changed. You know, yeah. we're going to get more going forward about the deliberations that happened today, which is really kind of the important part. Well, back in World War II, the Fed controlled interest rates. Today, we talk about it with this fancy term, yield curve control. But basically, the Fed says, we're going to cap or determine interest rates. Back in World War II, it was 2.5 percent right. for the long bond. It was three-eighths of a percent in, in the short end. And, and that means that the fixed income market with levels of interest rates where they are today, will you have declining yields when stocks fall the next time? Yes, but they're not going – the Fed policy is not going below zero, so there's a limit to how okay, far but Jeff, you can I, go. Okay, but Jeff, I want to interrupt there. I, I, Jeff, I want to get this question in because what you just said is the heart of the matter. I know Mike McKee's got an important question too. Jeff Rosenberg, I'm seeing massive log convexity, even though it's ever so slight and on the Bloomberg terminal, it's a real nuance, folks. Jeff, I'm seeing a price – urgency to the two-year yield. Somebody is buying that paper. Who is buying it and who precludes it from moving ever closer to the zero bound? Well, you know, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't worry too much about the two-year and the two-year moves. It's it's pretty much a reflection of the expectations that over the next three years, which is the Fed's forecast scenario, they are going to keep interest rates between yep. zero and 25 basis points. That's where the two-year is settling. That's where the three-year is settling. <clears throat> the five-year is pretty close to that. So basically, the entire short end of the yield curve is pegged at the expectations. As I was just articulating, we're going to be in this policy for a very long <clears throat> time. 